How I escaped my 12 year porn addiction. Hey everyone, my name is Min Jae Cho. I'm 28 years old and I used to be severely addicted to porn. I realized this was a problem when I noticed how awkward and intimidated it made me around women to a point where it was killing my confidence, energy, and motivation every single day to a point where I was severely anxious and depressed. During Christmas of 2016, I was at the loneliest point in my life. Single, lost in touch with all my friends, no money, was broke, so I had nothing to do. I had a lot of alone time and that's when I realized I needed to make a change. So I decided to Google being addicted to getting high and watching porn. And that was the first time I was truly blown away by what I started reading. The anxiety, the depression, not being able to look women in the eyes, being anxious and awkward, or awkward when talking to women, brain fog, low energy, no motivation, being a simp. This really hurt and at that time, I had no choice but to be completely honest with myself. So as any man would do, I started going down the rabbit hole of YouTube, trying to quit. And then I stumbled upon the no fat community. I was reading the forums and some men said that it gave you quote unquote superpowers. Things like more confidence, female attraction, more energy, more motivation. So I decided to give it a try because why not? In the beginning of my journey, I'd say for the first three years, I would always make it to around three to five days, but when it came to the weekends, that's when I would always relapse because I was always just so bored and I honestly didn't know what I wanted. In 2017, that summer, I was going on a road trip with my boys to Chicago and I really wanted to get laid. Using that motivation, I got to 56 days on NoFap for the first time. And let me tell you, the benefits were amazing on this streak. I had confidence, no more brain fog, no more social anxiety, no more depression. It all went away. This was also the time when I seriously got into self-improvement. So I was lifting weights, I was eating healthy, I was meditating, I was journaling. So this had an exponential effect. It was the best trip of my life. Long story short, I did get laid. But after that experience and that vacation high, when I got back home, it was back to reality. There was still a part of me that just wasn't fulfilled and I didn't know what it was. What ended up happening was that, you know, life got tough, I got stressed and I ended up relapsing. That made me really think. I was really frustrated and wondering why I relapsed after 56 days because my life was, you know, quote unquote, so good and everything was going for me at that time. So then for the next couple of years, I became a self-improvement junkie. I thought this was a solution. Supplements, maximizing morning routines, maximizing nighttime routines, different types of journaling, meditation, breath work, affirmations, you name it. I thought that the more you combine all these, the more complex you made it, you know, this was going to be the right fix to really sustain, you know, this, this no fat forever. During this time, I'd be going on streaks of seven, 14, 21, 30, 60, all the way up to 90 days just for me to relapse. I was even more frustrated because it's like the more I added, like it didn't make a difference. So I was just wondering why I was like, what is going on? Why can't I sustain this? I realized there was something missing. And so I dug even deeper into my education. Then I stumbled upon an amazing man named Dr. David Hawkins. He is a world renowned medical doctor, PhD clinician, scientist and teacher, having been a life member of the American Psychiatric Association with 50 years of experience. I started immersing myself in his work 
and his ways of healing people with mental health, addiction recovery, self-help, medicine, psychology, and spiritual development. As I started learning more about his work and how he treats clients, it finally struck me like a lightning bolt on why I kept on relapsing. In one of his books called Letting Go, Dr. David Hawkins talks about suppressed and repressed emotions. At that moment, I realized that for all my life, whenever something negative, sad, or anything bad happened, I would always numb my emotions and escape with porn. So I started doing the inner work. After continuously working on myself to get over this and combining everything I've learned in self-development for the past five years, I was finally able to overcome this addiction and be able to hit a NoFap streak of over 275 plus days. I finally felt free and this was how I escaped my porn addiction of over 12 years. If you're a man who's currently struggling with porn addiction, hit that like and follow or subscribe button because I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how I overcame this so you don't have to spend as many years as I did and you can finally stop being a slave to porn and go live with that freedom that you had as a child forever.